Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome back to the channel. I am Birdman Johnson. Spooky season is drawing to a close, but we're not quite there yet. Got a few more things for you, including this here today, The Designer's Curse, Chapter 1. Uh, this is by CB Games. I believe that is a single developer. This is free on Steam. Interesting note here, it says in the description that this was made by a 15-year-old as, like, his first game design project. So, good on him, first of all. However, that was in 2019, and it is currently 2024 at the time I'm recording this. So, as our friend is an adult now, um, I'm not going to feel too bad <laughs> about going a little hard on him. Interesting note here before we get going, the soundtrack for this was written by Miko Tarmia. If you don't know that name, he did the soundtracks for Amnesia, Soma, and Penumbra. Uh, so a very good CV there. I liked the soundtrack for Amnesia well enough. I loved the soundtrack for Soma. I haven't actually played Penumbra yet. Those are all my notes. Let's uh, make sure my copy's within arm's reach. I'm wearing comfy pants. And here we go. This is always a promising start. Clearly locked in some kind of cell. Yep, there it is. Okay, left mouse button, hold wheel to rotate, scroll wheel. To... Okay, great. Right button to throw. All I needed to know, toilet paper. Okay, we can crouch. We can jump. Oh, we can run. Oh, yes. Okay, we got amnesia style controls, not unexpected. There's nothing in there. Can I flush the toilet? I can't flush the toilet, but I can play with the lid. It's dry anyway. Let's see. Uh, can't read that. Here we go. Psychology, elements, methods, history. I got a handful of books with this same title, I think. And that's what I think of them. Encyclopedia of Psychology. Yep, you can go in the toilet, too. Excuse me. That is not where you go. We're off to a great start. And Human Anatomy Atlas. Okay, that one can stay. I'm amazing. All right, let's open the drawers. Ooh, those open lightning fast. <clears throat> Pay attention, amnesia. I don't know if there's any reason to open everything. Probably not. Nothing under the bed. We can pick up and throw the crates. That's an awesome sign. And the furniture. Excuse me? Oh, what is that? There's a hatch in the ceiling? A little bit of physics on the lamp. Okay. All right, enough. Let's get out of here. We're moving very quickly. Oh, we can peek. I love peeking. I peek. Okay, we need some kind of code to get out of here. That door is forced shut. Um, hard to tell, might be a bunk room back there. Uh, oh, that's intriguing. That's alive, that's moving. We're gonna walk away from that immediately is what we're gonna do. Yep, bunk room. Uh, the same books, I suspect. And a note. To be honest, they're down there for a really long time. When they started to go insane, that's when Master decided to set up the entertainment room. I mean, I guess he isn't as cold as he seems. The whole point of it was so that he could lock the door to the entertainment room if anyone misbehaved, as a sort of collective punishment. Bad? Naughty? It was a strange room, weirdly out of place wallpaper, and that mysterious piano sitting in the end of the room for that crazy one. But hey, it's something. They've got good books, too. I'll keep you updated on my escape. It may be a little ambitious. However, I'm planning on watching Master enter the code into his study. When I see it, I'll be sure to leave a note somewhere in the entertainment room for you, if you dare to escape as well. Good luck. The outside world is not as he portrays it, I promise. 
Ooh, okay. So we're we are looking for a code, and it'll be in the entertainment room. Well, there's some out-of-place wallpaper right there. Can't mess with the lamp. Is there any reason to look at any of these? No. Oh yeah, I gotta remember we can jump. Oh, hello! Hang on. <laughs> Back up a tick. No camera in here. Oh, yep, there it is. Hello! Eh. Become ungovernable! Ah, well this is some kind of library. Is this the entertainment room? Uh, might be able to read the titles on the spines if my resolution were way higher. But, for lack of any other information, I think we're just going to check the shelves real quick to see if there are any key items here. It's not looking promising. I love games that let you pick up things and throw them even if it doesn't accomplish anything. Yep, this is the entertainment room. What is that? We'll get to that in a moment. Eh, there's the camera. Well then, isn't that exciting? First aid kit. Oh, we have an inventory. Nice. This is very old school. This has a very, like, mid-90s adventure game feel to it. Can we play the piano? We can't play this Decker Brothers piano. This is in the way. Maybe we'll be able to play it later. Ah, a note. Through, oh, for crying out loud. I know I could check my journal, but I'm just gonna write it down. Three, one, four, two, one, six, eight, nine, three. I did not see what that pop-up at the top of the screen said. Somebody remember that for me, so I don't have to consult my notes later. Oh. Hello? The door is locked and a key is needed. Oh. It's been papered over, even. Interesting. We have a note. Door at the top of the stairs is locked. A key is needed to unlock it. Oh, thank you. Okay, so... Right, that's forced shut. Okay. Let's see. Three. One. Four, two, one, six, eight, nine, three. Yes? Fantastic. Oh, what? Whoa, what is this design choice? Hang on. What architect allowed this? Oh, that's so weird. Unless it's like a deliberate awkward corner. So that he can, so it's hard for you to corner and he can kind of see you before you see him, something like that. Oh. Is that the master? Is this a cult? Are we not actually in like a sanitarium? At least he's got a couch. This is a study? Oh, you know, something I should check. Yeah, we can hide in the closet. Important information, possibly. We can't get in the fireplace, though. Oh, there's a camera in here, which is pointed at nothing useful. That should be pointed this way. Just saying. Anyway, we got a key. Oh, now this I actually like, kind of. Interesting, I wonder what this is. Be curious to know the art credits for this game. <clears throat> anyway, we've got a key now. Unlocked the door. Beautiful. 
Oh, it's dark in here. Oh, it's dark. Uh-huh. Yep. That's to be expected. Huh. Note added to notebook, huh? Find a way out. Th sure, whatever you say. The fact that we've got a med kit in our inventory suggests that we can be injured. I peek. I don't know if there's any reason to look under the beds. <coughs> well, this is awful. This is a terrible space. What? I hear a door opening. Maybe that's just background noise. There's something down there. But we're gonna do this methodically so I don't miss anything. No cameras in these rooms, but they do have some nice exposed piping. Boxes try to stay organized in my presence. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody locks me in. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hey, another first aid kit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gonna leave that open for a minute. We have two med kits and a control room that we can't access. Hmm, okay. Well, there's a camera. I'm just going to wait here for a moment, if that's okay with everybody. Is anything actually going to come for us? Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh, that's the guy from that room we couldn't get into, isn't it? So, question... Does he just not go away now? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't open that. Leave it closed. Where, where is he? This is really annoying. I um, need to be able to, uh... oh, I can lean through the side of the locker. Oh, okay, there he is. It's not safe to move. <laughs> When will it be safe to move? Oh, did he open a door for us down the passage? He smashed his way through something. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. If I can figure out the angle to get this door open. There he is. I'm gonna stay on the opposite side of this pillar. Go, go, go. Control room release. Okay, great. Now we just have to get back. Down. Uh-oh. No, he's just going to walk up and down over here, isn't he? He's currently got his back to us. Is he just going to walk up and down on that side of the room? Might be easier than I thought. Oop. Okay, he's down at this end of the room. Oh, he's right there. Coming this way. Moving. Whew! Oh no. Door? Door close? Okay, cool. Note. 
Hey mate, if you're looking for the key to open the lever cabinet in the control room, I simply left the key behind it for you. Also, please get someone to fix those doors. I know the main door down to the slaves area is locked, but in each individual cell, the doors swing a full 180, so there's no lock and no way to stop the prisoners from escaping, apart from barricading the door with all those useless boxes I had to bring up. Also, one of the slaves downstairs was attempting to escape, so he's been sent off with the others. Idiot. Oh, Albert. Oh. Um, I can't seem to pick that up. It's locked. I simply left the key. Open the lever cabinet in the control room. I simply left the key behind it for you. Is that here? That's here. He's just like right outside there, isn't he? Oh. Um... I wish to hide inside this. I'm pretty sure if I wanted to, I could force myself to fit in there. Hello? I'm armed! I'm warning you. Don't mess with me. Which way are we going? Not this way. Ah, yes, okay. Nope. The door is forced shut. Okay, that's apparently not it. I'm gonna leave my self-defense cleaver behind for the moment. Oh. Did not notice this. Can I... No? Okay. Guess I don't need my notes anymore. I can set those aside. Let's have a sip of coffee before we go on. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, this thing has multiple areas. This is already more ambitious than I had anticipated. I like the stained glass on the doors. Oh, yeah, very amnesia. Hey, look at this. Nicely done. Let's take a moment to admire the wall art. I always like some nice pastoral art of people just sitting with animals in the countryside. The music's very loud inside my head, but in my sound test earlier, it was balanced okay. It's raining. I wish it was raining here right now. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Listen to that music. Nice job, Miko. Okay. Hmm, are those hiding corners? Okay, where am I supposed to go right now? I guess I can go upstairs, but let's try all the doors on this level first. Ooh! Nice! Less nice. Is that a Bosch? This looks like a Bosch. Ooh, old cellar. I actually don't know that I'm ready to be here yet, so hang on, Ominous Darkness. We'll be right back. Yeah, so just from the uh, aesthetics here and the level design, it is pretty obvious that our guy played Amnesia and enjoyed it. Oh, hey, there's a big version of that painting we saw down below. Oh, I can't jump anymore, but I can still crouch. That's interesting. Okay, there's only one door up here. The door is locked and the key is needed. All right, so we do, in fact, need to go into the old cellar. Let's do that, then. I don't mind the linearity. I rarely mind linearity in my games as long as the line we have to walk holds my attention somehow. There's nothing in this corner. You know, I get really tired of every game being a uh, open world sandbox experience because it's never really. 
Linear gameplay is not a bad thing, it just has to be engaging. Oh, this is a long one. Yes, well done, Albert. The key is here. However, you may soon realize that the door to the west hall above the cellar will now be locked. Oh no, boo-hoo. You must stay locked down here for three days, after all. You've designed the Fraken. There's not much I'm going to need from you for a while. If you dare disobey, your family will be taken out of the east prison block and straight into the torture chamber, and later you'll be forced to use them as body parts for the creatures. Oh, and if you dare try to escape like last time and attempt to contact the authorities, I will instantly notice your absence. Then your family will be dead. I also don't appreciate your comment about the giant window in one of the testing room bedrooms. Yes, I watch them at night, but only so I can quickly check if they are up to no good. I'm developing a new potion for you if you misbehave again. It will temporarily disable the right hemisphere of the brain, and you will not remember any of your creatures. Temporarily, I may need you again. I will force you to go through the halls of this house having to deal with your own creatures that you designed yourself, although I don't currently have a reason to put you through this. Don't give me one. After all, there is a curse in being a designer. He said the title, sort of. Grab the key. All right, so are we Albert, the creature maker? Uh, <laughs> I feel like we're about to be attacked. Or is it going to wait until we get back up? Let's go back upstairs, I guess. So far, so good. What I like about this painting is that it really changes depending on how close you're standing to it. This is a very different experience than standing back here. What's that lion got? A snake. Paranoidly looking around, waiting for the next attack. Uh, here we go, I guess. New area, another sip of coffee. What happened here? This is apparently the study hall and rooms. As you can see, they've got the same garbage books about psychology. Oh! Okay. Well, that's not a Bosch. I don't think there's any reason to open all these. And these are fake cabinets. Oh, there's a piano playing nearby. <clears throat> Useless. Useless! Oh. Are we underground? I mean, part of this place is. Oh boy. It's very dark in here. Coffee? Coffee? I know Ken has. It's so, so dark in here. I hear movement. Oh, it's a lantern. Ha! <laughs> it's a child's painting of a house. I especially like the bloody handprints on the window. Let's read this note. <clears throat> A1. Oh, for crying out loud. Notepad. Okay. A1. I'm going to put a little mark through there so I know it's not a capital I or a lowercase L. Okay. What was that? Other direction, other direction. Why are we moving so slowly? Close the door. Close the door. Close the door! Close this door as well. Oh, who am I kidding? It's going to be wherever we go. Never mind. There's only one way to go. Let's read this note. C0. Okay. Am I looking for a B? Nothing in the trash. Oh, I left my self-defense cleaver downstairs. Oh, no. Oh wait, that's just the rocks shifting, isn't it? 
Should I turn off the lantern for stealth? Or is that just going to make my life harder? Help me, long neck grandma. No, those aren't real sounds. Those are background noise. Uh-oh. That could be a small issue. Actually, the lighting's not bad. Oh, no. Well, that's ominous. B9. B9. How many more of these do I need to find? Hello, death. There's something over there. We're just going to stick to the edge of the room here. We're looking for one more. Hello? Hello? Is the creature actually in the environment? That's the real question. D2. Okay. We got one more door to check. 1902, I think. Maybe. Assuming we just entered them in alphabetical order. Enter those numbers in alphabetical order. Just gonna... 1902. Just gonna stay down here on the floor while I do this. Oh, designer's room. Let's get out of here. Oh good, the lights are on. Uh-oh. I think we've been locked in. This man has no skin. Woman? Possibly. Yep, it locked behind me as I came in. Hey, we can hide behind the couch. And there's a note. Oh, why? 3rd August. Initially, I was puzzled by the hall outside this guest room being riddled with rocks. I am also puzzled by that and wondered how it could be that the West Hall is clearly above ground, but this area on the same floor appears to be underground. A fine question. I was told this was due to the mansion being on a steep hill, which makes sense. I don't believe it. I do not feel safe. Areas of the study are collapsing and filled with rocks and dirt from above. How do I know this will not fall on me when I'm creating the creatures, or even worse, sleeping? Master will simply come find me and bring me to the torture rooms if I dare complain. I am terrified for my life. On the bright side, I put together the new torture monster for Master last week, the Fraken. So I was given a bed. She is perfectly capable of attacking due to the sharp blades in her left knuckles. Unlike the other creature, Spiky, who attacks the prisoners with teeth-like fingers. However, the woman who modeled the head of the Fraken had her eye removed during torture. Therefore, she may have depth issues when attacking and will not be entirely accurate. I gave her the husband's strong legs, so she will be fast, though. Do I find it messed up to be taking people's family members, in which my master has grudges against and turning them into horrifying creatures? Yes. Is it better than dying? I previously thought so, but now I feel I should end my life. As the Fraken came into my room again last night, and I feel I have no reason to go on living. Fascinating. There's a hatch under the bed. I'm gonna finish looking around before we go through there, though. What? Oh, it's an operating table, or a gurney or something. No, it's an operating table. This thing ain't moving nowhere. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Can I get in here? No. Okay. Oh, I can jump again. However, the door is apparently forced shut. No, it's not. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going down the hatch then. Oh. So this is another door back here. Okay, interesting. Well, down the hatch. 
testing area below. Do we just drop? Can we climb the ladder? Okay. Oh, it's automatic. Fantastic. I'm going to point this way while we climb down. Hey, um... Hey! Hey! That's like a 40-foot drop! Ah, no! <laughs> My shins, help! Testing room, Fraken dispatched. Wait, what? Why is it all digital all of a sudden? Odor oil below. Apply to body and clothes and you will not be noticed. Remember when you forgot to put them here? Well, now I've returned the favor. How are you going to cope? Oh, no! P.S. The key for the cabinet is somewhere in the test hall. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. When is this set? Ah, gee. Crouch and stay low behind objects. Alright, so now those med kits are going to be... useful. It's you again. Okay, that's locked. We can tuck ourselves back here. We're looking for a key. Oh! Okay, where is it? It would be best if it did not come back in my hiding corner. Okay, there it is. She, apparently. And we can crouch run, so that is phenomenally useful. And I'm not sure if she can see us when we're peeking. She got no skin on her head. No, she can't see us when we're peeking, I'm calling it. I'm also not real sure that she can hear us walking, so that's useful. Oh, our lantern's been on. Can she see the lantern? There's a security camera up on the wall. Long-necked grandma save me? Long-necked grandma save me if I can get the stupid chest open. Uh-oh. It's actually plenty light in here without the lantern. Aha! Go! Where? Oh. Didn't even have the chance to use the med kit. I don't want to go down there again. Okay, so... We want to be right there. Where is she? Um. Seems like if she loses sight of us, she forgets about us pretty quickly, so we can probably use that to our advantage. Now, I'm going to pick up the key and then just kind of tuck myself right here. We're just going to wait a minute. Can I have some coffee? <sighs> okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Air's kind of red tinged over here. Oh, we've been spotted. Go, 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 go. Nope, nope. She got me. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not sure that the lantern actually makes a difference as to whether or not she can see me. But it sure seems to make a difference as to whether or not I can see her. I'm gonna go slow. Figure out where she spotted me.
I'm not sure where she is. Over there somewhere? Oh, there. I can just see movement in the shadows. Not sure which way she's pointing. And now I can't see nothing. We gotta be patient. Nope. Nope. She's on to us. Run, run, run. Somehow I doubt that we can actually escape from her. Oh. Oh, she didn't see me come in here this time. Oh. Oh. Um, there we go. Okay. Pick up the first aid kit without stepping directly in front. What is up with the art choices in here? Oh, okay. No, lantern on, I think. This feels secret passagey. Just gonna prepare. Are you liking that big gap? What? Oh, I see. I see. Very clever. Oh, find a place to hide. Crouch, lantern off. Yes, I am actually liking the big gap. It lets me see into the room. Is she coming? Yep, there she is. I'm gonna... Well, she can't see me when I'm peeking, I don't think. So since my body is behind one of these doors, I think we're safe. Ah, go away. Yeah, she's got like wolverine claws. What am I doing right now is the question. Am I just waiting for her to go away? I'm trying to open this closet up. What am I looking for in here though? Okay, well, I can't stay here forever. Oh. Somehow that's worse. Anyway, I was busy trashing your stuff out of contempt. Just gonna go ahead and open these real quick to see if, uh, if there's anything in any drawer that is worth looking at. Kinda looking like no. I went to tap one, okay. Mm-hmm. It was a secret passage. East Prison Block. That's where our family is. Oh, okay. Right, because this is just chapter one. This was the free demo. By Christian Blandiford. Ah, CB Games. Understood. Boy, I hope that is not too loud on your end, because it's very loud on my end. Which is funny, because when you first boot up the game, it warns you that the uh, sound was unintentionally quieter than they meant for it to be. Lion crushing a serpent. Hey, look at that! Art credits! Love it. And special thanks to a bunch of people I've never heard of. Okay, then. Um... Let's see where this is going real quick. Let's see if there's a tag. I don't think there's going to be a tag. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. 
I'll be delivering some commentary on it in just a moment. And that was The Designer's Curse, Chapter 1. Was that little yellow star there before? Does that mean something? All right, that was awesome. Honestly, for a free Unity game on Steam, 10 out of 10. Well done, kid. You're like 20 now, but well done, kid. <laughs> that was enjoyable. That was just the right level of spooky. Um, it very much had the essence of games like am Amnesia without just being a direct riff, which is nice. It is very easy to fall into the trap of just replicating games that you liked. So I enjoy that. Um, decent level design. It was simple and linear, but there were enough mechanics there to keep me interested. I enjoyed that. I will definitely be interested in playing future chapters as they come out. As always, I encourage you to pick up the game and play it for yourself because it's a different experience when you're the one behind the eyeballs of the character as opposed to watching someone else do it. But that is going to do it for today. Uh, so hey folks, thanks for watching. Thanks to those of you who are subscribed to the channel. Thanks to those of you who are not yet subscribed to the channel. And thanks as always to those of you watching this without ever intending to subscribe to the channel because you count too. Every view counts. Although I hope you will consider it. We will be back here just a few more days in this month of October with content every single day for Spooky Season, Dwarf Fortress on Mondays, regular horror stuff on Saturdays, lots of content on the channel. Feel free to make suggestions, folks. Things you think I should play, things on your channel you'd like me to see. I am open to suggestions. That's going to do it for today. I'm going to go find a corner to tuck myself into. And until next time, Birdman out.